Joining me today is Philippa Sibley, a very famous Melbourne chef and one of my favourite authors too. I own your book, New Classic. That is a sensational book. Thanks. I love it so much that I'm like, I need you to do this pasta for me. Okay. Tell us a bit about it. Well, it's, it's really simple and it's actually inspired by Ugly Olio, which mm -hmm. is a really classic Italian pasta. You know, yeah. chilli, olive oil, garlic. Lots you know, of garlic. Good stuff. <laughs> um, I'm putting prawns in it today, mm -hmm. so we won't be using parmesan. Mm -hmm. Also, I was inspired by Mexican food, actually, to put in um, charred corn as well. So all these mm -hmm. ingredients work beautifully together. Um, black garlic, very special. Very, Very special. special, yeah. A Korean product. They, yeah. uh, it's a fermented sort of caramelised garlic. Yeah. You can buy it now at markets and also at some supermarkets. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, and it's got an amazing liquishy texture and almost a similar kind of flavour. It's beautiful. It's, it's not garlicky. Plus, it adds a really awesome mm. sort of colour dimension yeah. as well to this pasta. Of black, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So let's get started. Okay. So we need some fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. I always take out the germ. Yeah. The green bit because it's a, it's bitter. Especially when you're showcasing the garlic in such a beautiful recipe. Exactly. Now we've got some prawns here. Are we going to leave them whole, or did no, you want me to you chop could, them up? If for you, you could chop them up roughly yeah. for me. Okay. They so don't have to be perfect. Just, just like this. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm chopping up this garlic yep. nice and fine because we're going to infuse it into the oil. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to fry, so okay. I'm going to put it into cold olive oil and bring it up from cold. Because it just changes the uh, the flavours totally exactly. of the dish, doesn't it, if it starts quite if hot? It starts to, yeah, if it starts to fry. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to chop up this chilli and I'm going to keep it nice and fine, but I'm going to leave the seeds in because we want a bit of heat. Mm -hmm. Now, when did you get the inspiration for this beautiful pasta dish? So, funnily enough, I had a quesadilla yep. a, in a, a Mexican restaurant that had charred corn and black garlic. And I just thought, wow, that's such a, a, an awesome combination. And I just put all the ingredients together and it worked a treat. Well, that's why I like your recipes, because you take classic recipes, like this Italian pasta, and, and twist, you sort of them. twist it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep chopping these. Is this enough? Uh, do you want a few more prawns? I think that's, that's plenty that's for plenty? what we're, yeah, okay, we're going to do. Alright. Done. Okay, What's let's next? go. Okay, so massive slug of olive oil. And we're not heating it up because, yeah. you know, you should never heat olive oil up too hot because it does burn. And we're going to put our chilli and garlic in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Yum. I'm going to bring that up slowly. Slowly, yep. Yeah. And in the meantime, if you could pick some basil for me. I can. Thank you. This corn I've previously charred on the, just on an open flame just mm -hmm. to get a nice bit of toasty blackness on yeah. there. Um, and now I'm just going to take off the kernels. And you can also do it on the barbecue or barbecue, on, a, yeah. on a griddle pan. Works well too. Exactly. Nice and hot. Whatever you do it on, make sure it's nice and hot so that the actual corn doesn't overcook. Yeah. So you can see that that oil is now heating up and the, everything's starting to get beautiful and fragrant and bubbly. It starts smelling yeah. it all coming together. Yum. That black garlic especially. It's oh, so it's toasty, so... isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. All right, so now the prawns can go in. Okay. And that takes just moments to cook. Well, you can see, you can actually see yeah. when the prawns are cooked. They go all red and gorgeous. And what type of pasta are we using? It's a twirling pasta. Yeah. I think it needs to be spaghetti okay. or spaghettini or linguine or something mm -hmm. like that. And that doesn't take long at all to cook. No, it's, it it's all about timing with pasta, isn't it? It is, absolutely. So I reckon about that much is good for two people. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty that's hungry. How, that's how I do it. <laughs> okay, so the pasta's in. Yep. Prawns will be cooked by the time the pasta's cooked. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring it all together. Fabulous. These prawns smell so good and that pasta, it it's looks cooked, doesn't pretty it? Pretty much ready to go. Mm -hmm. What I need you to do yes. is just tear up that basil Ooh, a bit and okay. cut me a lemon in half. Sure can do and that. And I'm going to put the corn in. That's going to warm through as I put the pasta in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a bit tricky now and do it with tongs. But it's okay if a little bit of that water goes it's in. It's actually good. Yeah. It's actually good. I would normally put a little bit of the water in mm -hmm. anyway. Okay, so there's the pasta. Now I'm going to season that. So a nice sprinkling of salt. Mm -hmm. Good old grind of pepper, but don't worry about the pepper too much because you've got the chilli in there anyway. That's right. Yep. Lots of freshly torn up basil and a good old squeeze of lemon. And you always leave that lemon just to the last minute. Exactly, otherwise it'll go marmalady. Yep. And then just give it a really good toss. All right, let's plate let's up. Let's plate up. Okay. Oh. You see the speckles of the, the black, black garlic, garlic there. And even just the, the, the charred corn is spectacular. It would be criminal not to have a taste of this one. Oh, well, you have to, don't you? 
part of the job. Let's have a taste and get some of those prawns. Okay. Black garlic's awesome, isn't mm. it? This black garlic is the best. And the pasta is cooked al dente, mm -hmm. so <laughs> it just works. Philippa, one taste is not enough. I have to have the whole plate. I've been waiting for this moment for so long for Philippa to cook this for me because it is as good as it looks. Thank you so much. It's all yours. <laughs>